wondering why this glove was so tight. That's fine. Starting to recognize who's logged in by their rooms, I know. their backgrounds. AJ's funny, man. He signed in as Prime Minister AJ. <laughs> um, I was getting emails. It looks like it was from an email from um, the PA manager email. Thank you. Okay, team, we're going to start um, about one or two minutes late. Um, Zoom actually is requiring passwords for everybody to actually log in now. So people are taking a few minutes extra to log in and make sure they're ready to go. So we're going to give them a few more minutes extra as well. So team, please do me a favor. Grab, make sure you have water like we always do, and make sure you have two items, okay? Two things that actually mark like A or B or left or right. Um, Pads work, you know, stuffed animals, whatever you have at home. Hey team, good job getting ready. One more minute. Make sure the items you have, guys, they are not something you can step on and hurt yourself or break or just make sure it's something soft like a pillow or pads or, you know, not something you can actually smash into and break, okay? And Mr. Andrew, okay, you gotta, it's class time, man. It's not time to have a snack. I love bananas too, man, but put that away real quick. And your gloves gotta be on and ready to roll. Good job, good job. All right. So team, do me a favor and show me your gloves. Make sure you're ready to rock. Somebody's gloved up. Mr. AJ, do you have your gloves, sir? There you go. Team, I know we're not hitting bags or each other today, but you know, make sure we're staying on track, okay? We are training like we're gonna be a black belt, so we always wear our gloves for our first part of class. All right, team. So everyone do me a favor, make sure you're really listening at level 10. So take your hands, lock them behind your back, click, click. Let's see who's the most focused out there right now. Looks like uh, Miss Addie's super focused, laser beam nice and still. Very good. Mr. Wags, little Wags, very focused today, man. Do you have focus like for breakfast, sir? You look very seriously focused today. All right. So team, now, hopefully everyone got their, got their packages. Okay, you got your care package. I know you got to wait a little while before you open them up. Okay. but there are two things, okay, you have to know in order to get that stripe to put on your belt. Okay, well, first of all, you gotta pass your parents' test. If you're being a wild animal at home right now, no way your parents let you guys have your stripe on your belt. And then you mean, that means you can't test for your next belt. So, one thing at a time. Make sure you're being awesome at home first, and then uh, you have to know the two secrets of being fast. So, when we warm up today, we're gonna work on the two first parts of speed, and because it's prep week, in week three, we're gonna add in another type of speed we're gonna work on today. Now. Team, I have good news. We actually received some of the items that we're giving, okay, for our contest. We received our stickers today. We have those in stock. We actually got the brand new bracelets that you can only earn from actually scoring points in our contest. We're super excited about that stuff. The dog tags coming next. The t-shirt the order we're gonna place very, very soon. So we're pretty pumped and, and jacked about that one. Um, also team, Let's not forget, let's keep in mind that we have some really fun weeks coming up. After we test for our new belt, we have two uh, really fun weeks, okay? Let me see who's still standing nice and still, like Andrew's standing really focused and still. I like that. Thomas, too, good job. That's it. So um, the two weeks we have coming up after that, guys, we have a sports kind of style week where we're going to actually do some jump kicks, all kinds of stuff. And you can wear your favorite sports jersey, your favorite Tom Brady, Red Sox, whatever like, jersey you're going to have. And the week after that, it's going to be board-breaking week. And I know you're super excited about those boards you have in your packages. 
you're going to save your boards and show me some good self-control for two weeks. <laughs> okay. So good luck controlling yourself. Don't break the boards without me. Okay. Wait till class. What are you going to do with your boards until then you can decorate them. Okay. One of my friends actually did a board breaking event at his martial arts school and all the students decorated their boards, like, you know, um, kicking away the virus, kicking away this, kicking away that, you know, it was, it was pretty cool to see them decorate their boards. So that would be a good idea for you to do, but you can't break them yet. Okay, wait for our board breaking week. All right, team, we'll get you warmed up. So everyone step back a little bit so I can see you. All right, ready your hands, toes together, hands on your sides, up. And, wow, all right, team, mini jacks begin. Nice short motions. Now, last week we talked a lot about relative speed. That's how fast you go from the start to the finish. Now, obviously, if your motion's short, it's easy to go start to finish. Everyone medium jacks because when your job is longer, or you have a longer road or a bigger challenge, it's harder to do. It takes longer to get there, more speed's needed. Then big challenges, hands way up. The harder your job is, the more energy you have to use, the faster and the stronger you have to be. All right, ready, mini jacks. Medium jacks and huge jacks, way up. I know, too easy. So now let's work on reaction speed. Ready? So if I do small jacks, you guys do small jacks. If I do medium jacks, you guys do medium. If I do large, you do large. Okay, team, let's see how you do. Ready? Which one am I doing? Make sure you react, use your eyes and your senses and tell your body what to do. And when I change, you change. I know you're getting tired, team. Keep out. I can see who's not using their toes enough. I'm going real fast now. And time. All right, team. Very good. So let's get shadow box just a little bit. So we're going to throw that kick. One, two, three. Shadow box it out, team. Ready? Begin. And reset. Good job. Good job, good job. Shh, shh, shh. All right, all right. Let me see you, Miss Addy. I want to see you doing some kickboxing moves, my friend. There we go. Boom. Shh. All right, time. Very good. Now the other combo. Hands up again. Deflect this time. Everyone take your elbow and deflect inside, and then come back. One, two, three. Ready? Begin. Shadow box. Deflect. Shh, shh, shh. And again. Deflect. Shh, shh, shh. Deflect. Shh, shh, shh. On your own, back and forth, make sure you deflect with your elbow. We're not crossing our hands or doing some fun move. We are blocking with our elbows. Keep it short. Boom. And uh, okay. Team, feet apart. Hands behind your back. I'm going to move the camera a little bit so I can show you the two pads I have on the ground. Okay, team? So let's work on a little more reaction speed. A little more fun with this one. Now, if you see me move over here, you're gonna follow me. You're gonna move over here too. Now, when we go on this side, we're gonna throw one of those two combinations we worked on. So, if we go over here, I'm gonna kick, one, two, three. If I go over here, you're gonna follow me and you're gonna block, deflect, one, two, and three. So, you have to actually be fast enough to go from here to there, which is relative speed, and then a reaction speed enough to how fast your brain moves, you gotta make sure you know which combo to do. Let's warm up slow. Ready? So everyone in your stance. Everyone ready? Over on this side, over here. Side A. On side A, you kick. One, two, three. Now watch me again, because if I move over here, side B, you have to deflect. One, two, three. And if I go like this, what do we do, team? Kick. One, two, three. What about if I go over here? What do we do? Block. One, two, three. All right. Now. Everyone back at the center. So we have A side, we have B side. So now we get our relative speed going from here to here in reaction to see which combination we're supposed to do. All right, team, eyeballs up here, get set, here we go. Everyone's watching me, ready? And boom, which combo, which combo? All right, ready, which combo now? All right, very good. Now if I go back in the middle, not the new shadow box, but you're ready. This one, what do we do, what do you do, what do you do? This one. What do you do? This one, what do we do? That's a block, one, two, three, all right, this one over here. Good, good, that's it, this one over here. All right, I'm a little faster this time, you guys are getting good. I'm in the middle, what do you do? 
Oh, I'm trying to fake you out. Oh, fake you out again. Oh, which one now? Which one now? Quick, quick, quick. What do you do? What do you do? All right, back in the middle. Now back over here. What do you do? That's a deflection. Punch, punch, punch. Put this one over here. And ta. Ah. Okay, team, everyone, hands on your back. Click, click. Very nice. All right. So, team, you can see how everything, whether you're just working out, doing martial arts, whether, you know, no, mom's talking to you, dad, someone that loves you is talking to you, you got to still use these reaction speeds, this relative speed stuff. Let's say you just want to put your laundry away. Do you have to use relative speed and reaction speed? Yeah. The laundry's way over there. You have to go from start to finish to get it done, right? Also, your reaction speed's important too. Mom says, put your laundry away, and you go, oh. You know what? Your reaction speed was horrible because you didn't move right away. So this is something you can practice on everything, whether it's laundry, martial arts, schoolwork, whatever it is. Everyone make sure your hands are locked behind your back. You guys are all training for black belts. And I see some of your hands up and you want to ask questions, guys. This class is going to be fast, 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 fast today. So if it's a really important question, we can wait to the end, or you can actually have your parents send me an email or they can text me later on. Okay, team? Because the next part of class, guys, we're going to work out a little bit more. We have to work on a little more, uh, a little more speed, but we're gonna try the next piece. Everyone help me out and say snap. Now, you're higher ranks. You guys know what snap is, but the higher in rank you get, the more important it is. Make sure your hands are still behind your back right now, like Luke's doing. Luke is frozen like a statue. He looks good. So, now, let's think about snapping for you guys, especially offense and defense. Everyone here, I, I saw you guys moving a little bit. You're not supposed to be, but when you guys moved a little bit, I saw you guys go, bam, because you know what snap of your punches is. But your defense has to have snap too, okay? I know if I was standing in front of Andrew or AJ or, or Luke, I'm sparring with those guys, and I go fast in my hands, I go punch, and my hands come down. I don't snap it back where it belongs. They're going to get out of the way of that first punch and then punch me back, and I don't want that. So when I snap, my snap goes out fast, but back fast. I cover up. So our first combination we're gonna try right now, I want you to work on not just like punching and dropping your hand and leaving your face wide open for someone to punch it. We're gonna snap offense and defense. Punch, back, punch, back. Okay, team, let's try it slow motion first. Everybody, hands up in your best stance. Ready, everyone, for your best kick, ready? Shh. And then, one, boom, pull back. Two, pull back. Three, boom, pull it back, that's it. See, what I'm looking for is holes right now. What I mean by holes is, let's say I have my hands up like this, or I'm sparring with uh, little wags, sparring with wags over there, and I go like this. What does he see? A hole, an opening. That's where you're gonna get a punch in there. So right now, if your hands are down, like Mr. Wagner, your hands are down, I can aim anywhere in your face right now. Oh, now I can, see, way better. So everyone, hands up, ready? Combination on your own, begin, snap. One, two, three, then right back to your stance. Let me watch, I'm looking for holes. All right, let me see, let me see. Right now, I don't know, I can't get AJ, his hands are up. All right, now work your combination too, Mr. AJ. Kick, punch, punch, punch. Good, all right, all right. AJ's hands are up pretty high, so I can't, can't get in there. All right, now, miss and time. All right, pretty good, everyone. Take your hands, lock them behind your back, click, click. Good job, now I have a challenge for you guys, because you guys get the idea. Now I want you to really pay attention to yourself. Watch yourself on camera this time. So keep your eyes straight, hands up. If you see a punch go like this, is there a hole there? Yes. Well, this, is there a hole there? No. So on your combinations, go one, two, three. So everyone should be in a rest position right now. But I see you guys practice, I know you're ready to go. But when I say go, watch yourself. Okay, team, pay attention to yourself. This is one of the things that you have an advantage on of doing um, your classes like this. You can see yourself doing the moves. So. Hands up nice and tight. Ready? Everyone throw your kick nice and straight. Shh. And then down the middle. One, two, three. No holes. Elbows in tight. One, two, three. Good. Let me watch. Let me watch. Good. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Little wags. Way better, man. Way better. Now keep your eyes straight ahead. If your eyes are straight ahead, you can see every part. If your eyes move side to side a little bit, you'll be a little bit stronger, but you can't see if you have any holes or not. Yes. Way better, way better. That's it, good job with those eyes, that's it. Good, Andrew, very tight, buddy, good job, that's it. All right, that's it, Luke. Now, you, you nice straight punches, Luke, but I see your hands low, buddy. So I was sparring with you, I wait for you to miss on your punches, then I'd punch you back right in the head. So, cover up, one, two, three, 
Yeah, and time. Okay, ready? Everyone take your hands, lock them behind your back really quick. Okay. Let me see who's nice and tall. Very good. All right, so you know what's, what snap really means. Snap is a very quick, explosive motion, but it has to be offensive and defensive. Bam! Okay, offense and defense, okay? So when the little kid's asking what speed is, I'm going to say explosive speed, okay? Takeoff speed, how fast you start your job. But for you guys, you have to use our offense and defense. You guys have to be more educated than all the basic and all the black belt trainers, okay? Super, super important. So team, go grab some water really quick. Come back, we're gonna start our next part of class. Go, go, go. I'm sorry? We have to research how to have everyone invited in when they contact us. I tried picking up just email and then just came about. Yeah. Hi, Ms. Brian. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <They're waiting. laughs> All right. So everyone, like Andrew's doing, hands on your back, very focused, nice job. And team, I'm actually pretty proud of you guys because one of the things I know is different because right now you're not in the martial arts school. I know as soon as you walk in the martial arts school, you instantly become more focused. You're instantly more serious because you're at the martial arts school. I get that. Now at home, you have to change your, you have to change your attitude, even though your area around you is not changing, which is not easy to do. Right now, your home is your home. It's where you sleep. It's where you have fun. It's where you play games. It's where you do schoolwork, martial arts, workout, fart. I don't know, whatever you do. Sorry. But whatever you do, that's your spot. It doesn't really change right now. So it's super important that your mind has to change, not your area you're in right now. And I've seen a lot of students adjust, okay? When they know it's class time, they're in their uniform, their belts are tied, they're ready to rock. It's pretty amazing, okay? It's not easy to do because the hardest thing to change around you is always your mind. So good job being focused. So as you move into our self-defense and a little more striking stuff, I want you to keep in mind, guys, speed and all these rules are even more important the higher in rank you get, okay? So let's say that, I don't know, who's the highest rank in here today? Mr. AJ? It's you, buddy. All right. So AJ forgets has a hard time remembering like one of the moves. He has a challenge, right? Everyone hands behind your back. I don't even want to show me your belts, but stay, stay focused, all right? So, you know, AJ's a black belt. He's done the junior black belt test before. If he forgets one of the moves, he is not in big trouble, okay? But if AJ is starting to forget the rules of being fast, of using speed and all those kind of things, you know, that's a big issue, all right? So let's make sure we know the three rules of speed, okay? Everyone help me out. Everyone say reaction speed. All right, first of all, everyone eyes on the camera. Everyone pay attention to what you're doing. You're in class still. Everyone say reaction speed, relative speed, and snap. Those are our three most important parts of being fast, okay? So in self-defense, these things are even more important, all right? So everyone still has your two items on the ground. Yes, sir? I hope so. Let me show you what I'm going to do, okay? We're going to do a little figure eight practice with our footwork. This is not very hard to do. It's actually pretty fun to get your feet going. So from here, team, what we're going to do is going to be in the middle. And I'm going to go around the front of one of them. And I circle around. And I circle around this one. It's called the figure eight. It's pretty easy to do. But right now, I want to see you guys moving your feet the whole time. That's all. Ready? And begin. So I go around here. I go around this one. I go around this one. Easy, right? Ten more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, time. Okay, so now, same exact thing. I'm going to say A or B. So, everyone start moving again. Move like this. Make sure everyone's ready. Hands up. You're still moving. Now, if I say A, that's the combo number one, the first combo. It means wherever you are, if I say A, stop what you're doing. Kick. One, two, three. And shuffle again. Hands up. Now, if I say B, stop what you're doing. Deflect with your elbow, block, one, two, and three, and then shuffle again. All right, team? So right now we're testing out that reaction speed one more time. Ready? And, and, B, which one's that one? Quick, block, one, two, three, good. Right again, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, very good. A, which one's that one? That's the kick combo, one, two, three, too easy, too easy, that's it. 
Keep moving, team. Keep moving. B. That's a shuffle. Here we go. A. And time. Okay, very good. Now let's make you fast. Ready? Feet apart. Hands behind your back. Now, if you were sparring and you turn around for a second and you're sideways, your eyes can't see me. It instantly makes you slow. Instantly. No matter how fast you are. Your eyes are not on me. It makes you slow. So now, as I'm moving, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come at you guys, which means you're going to kick. Punch, punch, punch. Okay, team? Now, if I'm way back here and I'm moving again, okay, and I start combination from here, you have to deflect one, two, three. So now your reaction speed has to be awesome. Okay, team? Let's go slow first. So everyone start moving for me. Figure eight, figure eight. Everyone keep moving. Keep moving. Go ahead, Andrew. Shuffle it out, buddy. Shuffle it out. And if I charge, you should kick, punch, punch, punch. Yeah, that's because I'm punching at you guys. I'm punching. You're going to kick me first, okay? Try it again. Everyone moving. Moving if I charge. What do you do? That's a kick first. Very good. Very good. Ready? Now, time out. Time out. Now, if I'm back here, I'm not charging this time, but I kick. What do you do? Deflect. One, two, three. So you're going to really pay attention. Ready? So, eyes on the screen. And as I'm moving, and I'm moving, and I'm moving, and I'm moving. Who got that kick out there fast? Who got that kick out there? All right, hands up, hands up. And time out, team, now. Time out, everyone freeze for a second. Eyes up here. This drill is the hardest part of class so far. So everyone make sure your uniform looks nice. Make sure you look good. Hands behind your back. When I see you moving, guys, you're going to stay on camera. I get to see you working. I get to see you working hard. Okay, team? Don't forget, just because you're at home, you had a good day, bad day, sun's outside, doesn't matter. I need you guys ripping, okay? If I'm looking at you and I can see you, by the way, I'm recording this. I can go back and watch it again, which means if I see someone lazy pants, it's not speed. So if I'm charging at you, boom, you're going to kick really quick. If I'm actually throwing punches first, you're going to know what to do. All right, team, so let's get focused. Ready? Level 10. Here we go. Like a real sparring match. Get ready, because when you guys come back to class, we're not coming at you. You're going to know what to do. Ready? Hands up. Make sure you're ready. Everyone's figurating, circling those pads, moving, moving. I use the energy team. Move quick. Move quick. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Hopefully you kicked first. All right, what do you do? Watch me. Watch me, watch me, watch me. Shh. Everyone deflect first. All right, time. Way better, everyone. Grab some water, take your gloves off and your nunchucks. Go for it. Okay, team, take your belt, put it inside your own belt. All right. All right, teammates, everyone take your hands, lock them behind your back, just like this. All right. So team, for two weeks, we've been working extremely hard on the first set of combinations, okay? Now, let's remember why we're doing these combinations. So the prizes we have for you guys, some of the higher level prizes are pretty hard to get. 300 points is a lot of points, okay? If you had just taken classes, you guys would have to do 30 classes just to get the 300. Make sure you're standing still, please. Hands behind your back. Everyone's frozen like a statue, okay? So that is, that's pretty challenging. But premier trainers, you guys have an advantage. You guys are allowed to actually score points based on how many combinations you have of your nunchuck form. Now, if, you, if your goal is to score 10 extra points, 20 extra points, it's cool with me. My goal is to teach you guys 10 different combinations and give you a chance to earn 50 extra points. And if you guys can do that whole section, all 10 combos in less than 90 seconds, you're gonna score an additional 25 points, which means you can score an extra 75 points more than everybody else in the school. How does that sound so far? 
Awesome, right? And it's only for premier trainers. That's it. Nobody else has this challenge. The black belt trainers doing single nunchuck. I think it scored extra points, but not as much as you guys. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, team. So let's review our first couple of combos, but then we're going up to the higher level combos because we get two weeks left. Okay, two weeks left to get up to 10 combos. Everyone should be standing hands behind your back because I know you guys are training. I know you guys are practicing, but I want you to show off. I want you to show off how focused you are first. We'll do nunchucks later. Okay, team? So let's work on combos one through five, and we'll work on six, seven, eight in detail today. So everyone step back. All right, my friends. Combo one, combo one. Ready, everyone, nice your shoulder. Five moves, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five. Too easy for you. Combo two, spin low, spin high, hug, unhug, back up, that's it. Combo three, both nunchucks down to your hip, stay on the same side. Ready, seatbelt? Drop it down and around town. Mm. Other side, low, high. Seatbelt, down, across. Drop it down and around. All right, combo four. Nunchucks on your shoulder, feet together, and then seatbelt and seatbelt again. The hardest part of seatbelt move. Now take both of them, spin them and catch them. Mm -hmm. And then a one, two combination. One, two. All right, very good. So team, hands on your back, click, click. So, I mean, as hard as that first section is, the cooler ones are definitely coming up in a couple of seconds, all right? So our next challenge team is to work on how to do forward spins, reverse spins, and then some high spins over your head. And there's a whole bunch of kinds of way to do it. Everyone makes your hands behind your back right now, being level 10 focused. Now, I know you guys, some of you guys can fly through this stuff and you will. But right now, stay together because people are like, who's the highest rank in here? Cam? Cam and AJ, you guys are my highest ranks. Someday you're gonna be teaching everybody else. And you can't just know the form. You have to know the secrets how to build somebody up into those moves. So let's start with the most basic level one, forward spins. From here, team, everyone just go forward spin, forward spin, forward spin. I know it's too easy for you, but I'm saying, what if Cam was getting ready to teach a white belt who's never done nunchucks before? She doesn't know the levels. This is easy, number one. Now, everyone make believe you're a martial arts instructor. If your student can do level one, have them try level two. We go from the outside spin to the inside spin. Outside, inside, outside, inside. All right, so let's make believe that Mr. Caleb, he's a black belt level instructor. So he teaches students to grab, his, grab their nunchucks way up here. Now, third level is inside and outside. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Go for it, T, let me see you in and out. I know it's easy for you guys, I know. And time. All right, Colin, you are a black belt martial arts instructor now. Check it out. The next level is, we just did in and out. Now it's called a one crossover. So from here we go, one cross, one cross, one cross. All right, Addy, you're my next black belt level super supreme master of the universe, next level instructor. You have to teach them to go cross over one, cross over two. Right hand on top, and then left hand on top on the next one. This is the harder one to do. Okay, team? But we have to go in order. And try it out, team. Go for it. Full figure eights. Mm-hmm. Good. And time. All right. So let me see. Thomas, you are a black belt supreme instructor. Let's do reverse spin. So we start low by your legs. The first move you would teach is coming up just like this. I know. Easy for you. Now, Andrew, what would, next, what would the next move be? You teach the student to go outside spins and then go outside to inside. All right, outside, inside. AJ, what's next? Let me see, buddy, yeah. Out, in, out, in, out, in, in, out, in, out. Yeah, there we go. All right, Luke, what's next? Hmm, good question, right? One crossover, yeah, there you go. So one crossover, so I'm going side by side like this, but not, to, not together though, not yet, okay? Side by side, and then I cross them one time. And then I cross them one time. Oh, almost lost that one. And now, let me see, Cam, what's next? But reverse style, that's forward, but you're right, it's a double crossover. When I'm going reverse spins, I'm gonna try to, that's right, you got it. I'm gonna try to cross them over, right? Double cross, left side on top, right side on top, left, right, left, 
right. And time. All right, hands on your back, click, click. All right, very good. So now people like Cam and AJ, you guys are higher ranks. AJ, hands behind your back, buddy. So you guys are higher ranks, okay? It's not good enough you just to know what to do. You gotta try passing that on now. Because when you teach, you learn it twice. You teach somebody else and you get better teaching it that way and you practice for yourself. Now, who finds helping out someone else get you excited? Anybody? Me, that's huge for me, okay? What I mean is, I'm a, I'm a black belt. I've been a black belt for a long time, longer than you guys have even been alive. But the whole idea behind that is, what if I, all of a sudden, Cam nails her form? Am I excited about that? Huge, because she figured it out, okay? What if, um, I don't know, Andrew has a tough time in the first couple of times this is form, but all of a sudden, towards the end of nunchuck phase, he's way better. That makes me feel good, because I'm a martial arts teacher. So, who feels good if you get it right? What if you get it right and you help somebody else, you feel twice as good? That's why I love to teach. So now you guys have teaching skills. So let's try the overhead one. Okay, team? Start with level one. You start with nunchucks, pull them up. That's level one. Try it out, team. Yeah. Now, level two, spin down. I know it's too easy for you guys. We're going in order. If, um, you know, Luke was my black belt level instructor, he's going to know the levels. Now, put them both together. High, low. High, and low. High and low. All right, now the next level, level four, would be a crossover. So I try to cross them over one time without hurting myself. Uh oh, tough one. I know. Ready? One time. Crossover. Uh oh, double crossover. This one's tougher. So you have to go crossover one and two. Jump to the ceiling fan, everybody. If you have, if not outside. And time. All right. So, now let's put your skills to the test. I don't need you guys to be perfect at this yet, but I want you guys to know the order we're gonna do them. So, here's our challenge. Everyone, nunchucks on your shoulders, get ready. And turn to the side like this, boom. On this direction, forward spins, anyone you want. Level one, level two, three, four, four. it's up to you, ready? Cam's already at level five. Go for it, team, your best one. Now when you're ready, you change directions, bam. Now we're facing this way, reverse spins. Level one, two, level three, four, when you cross over, five, double cross over, figure eight, and then next move, turn straight ahead. You're back towards me again. Level one, high. Level two, low. Level three, crossing. I'm sorry, doubles, high and low. Then level four, crossing them over. You cross them over one time, level four. Oh, hard one. That is tough. All right, now, the grand finale finish. Here we go. Everyone, metrics like this. We're going to do three count drill, but too easy for you guys. This hand does three count first, spin catch. This hand does three count second, spin catch. Let's do it. Ready? This one. Boom, boom, boom. And your favorite catch, anyone you want. Other side, boom, boom, boom. Spin and catch. Ready? Back and forth, team. Ready? This one. Oops, bam, this one, and then this one, bam, and this one. All right, ready? All right, time out. We're just putting them all together. Now, whatever level you choose, doesn't matter. Just have fun with it, okay, guys? What you do is you're going to find out that maybe Thomas is a master of all level twos. Now, all he just tries to do is next time, he tries to go level three and then four, and eventually you'll be better than Cam. Cam is coming for you. Be ready. All right, ready, team? Here we go. Level one, then you turn your shoulders, turn to the corner, forward spins, any forward spin you want. And then turn, reverse spins, any spin you want, level one, level two, level three, turn straight ahead, whatever level you want, high and low, you can go level one, level two, level three, it's up to you. And then freeze your nunchucks, one hand at a time, one, two, three, spin, catch. Ooh, one, two, three, spin and catch. Make me a little pose at the end. Awesome. All right, team. Awesome job, everyone. Put your hands behind your back. Click, click. Very nicely done. Good news is we still have time left for our nunchucks. Now, as hard as this combo got, okay, this is not the hardest one. We have harder stuff coming up next, which I'm very excited about. Okay, so now team, right now, don't think of it as hard. Make sure your hands behind your back, everybody. Ice and frozen, eyes up here, because we have to set goals, okay? 
Now, when we talk about goals, guys, big goals, big challenges take courage. So let's talk about courage real quick, and then we'll finish up class, talking about prizes and doing nunchucks. And think about this. Let's say that, you know, Luke wants to learn all 10 combinations. Luke has to have some courage to take on a challenge like that because these moves are not easy. It's going to take practice. It's going to take time for him to do this instead of playing video games or whatever he's doing. So sacrifice sometimes takes courage too. If you say to yourself, oh, is this good or is this bad? Is it, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? You know, let's talk about that a little bit. So I need to help me out, okay? So I'm going to talk about a few things here. And if you think it's good for you, give me a thumbs up. If it's bad for you, give me a thumbs down, okay? All right, team, getting up early to study, for, study your martial arts. Is that good or bad? Good, right? Now, is it easy, is it, is it easy or hard? Which one? Hard, all right, everyone make sure you're in a rest position, team. Okay, as funny as that was, Ms. Cam, you're still in class. Okay, let's be focused, you're the highest rank in here. So, now, stop trying to make me laugh, all right? So, it is worth it, but it's hard. Usually things that are worth it are hard to do. Let's check the next one, okay? Um, saying you're sorry, even though you're embarrassed. Who's ever made a mistake before, or messed up a little bit? Is it easy to say you're sorry? No? Is it, is it easy or hard? Hard, right? Is it worth it or is it not worth it? Definitely worth it, right? All right, next one, okay? So, some of your friends are trying to smoke cigarettes. And they say it's cool. And they say you got to do it too. You should try it out. And and you say no. Is it easy to say no? It might be hard because your friends are pressuring you. Okay. How about this? Is it is it worth it saying no? Yeah, because you know smoking is disgusting and gross, right? So super important, guys. Super important. Okay. How about this? How about this? Making friends with someone you've never met before. Is that easy to do? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Most of the time, no, because everyone's shy meeting people for the first time. Is it worth it making new friends? Yeah. So everything we've talked about so far, it's hard to do, but it's worth it. And that's what courage is, guys. Doing things you know are hard to do, but you know is a reason they're worth doing. So practicing martial arts, getting all of these combinations down with nunchucks, it's worth it, but it's going to take some hard work. Okay, team? So let's get to the next challenge, guys. We're gonna try what's called the gunslinger and we're gonna try what's called the thumb spin, okay? Now, just like everything else, guys, we have to learn at a certain speed, okay? Make sure everyone's standing nice and still, right? Because all higher ranks. I know I've been talking for a while, but now the fun stuff's coming out. So, the next piece we're gonna talk about, guys, is we're gonna talk about actually how to pull off the gunslinger, but we have to start slow and work up for two reasons. I want everyone to know what level one is, okay? And I want the higher ranks to learn how to teach because Cam, you're the highest rank in here. If I said, Cam, go teach someone how to do the, do the finger spins. She might be like, yeah, I'll go do it. She's, she's confident, she'll go out and do it. Now the challenge is, do you know the secrets of teaching level one, level two, level three of a gunslinger? So we're gonna try that a little bit. All right, team, everyone try this first. First challenge for you, it might be easy for you guys, but imagine a white belt trying for the first time. You have your hand like this. We swing our nunchuck up, down. And when I point down, I put my finger like this, and I just curl my gun. And the first challenge is just to get the nunchuck to be on top of my finger. If you're paying attention, you'll see I have one nunchuck on top of my finger and one underneath. Okay? It's not hard for you guys to do. I want you to try it a few times on your own. Bam. Bam. That's it. Bam. Because if you don't have this part down, nothing else works. Okay? Bam. Now, that's easy for you. Put both hands out there. And do the same motion with both hands, same time. Both hands, same time. Now, if you have nice, thin nunchucks, team, this is easier to do. If you're using the foam ones, it's a little bit harder, but you guys can figure it out. All right, level two, everyone freeze. Hands on your back, click, click. So, now remember, this might be easy for you, but if you're teaching a white belt one day, you don't know how to teach this. So, the next step's gonna be, I'm gonna go one, two. So think about it like this one. There is two sides, A side nunchuck, B side nunchuck. I want B to end up on my shoulder, this one right there. So I go A side, B side comes down, B side ends up on my shoulder. Watch again, ready? From here, I flip, I flip again. One of my favorite ways to do this one is, 
I'll put a piece of tape on the end of my nunchuck, green, yellow, but both sides look different. And I gotta make sure that green side ends up on my shoulder. All right, teams, your turn. One, two, try it out. Go for it, begin. One, two. One, two. If you feel pretty confident, go for it. One, two. Do it fast. Ready? One, two. All in one move. Very good. Very good. All right, team. Time. Time. Now, I know we're going slow today, guys. You have to go slow sometimes to go fast. Next challenge. Everyone have your nunchuck in your hand like this with your thumb facing up. Easy for you. All we're gonna try now is I'm gonna spin my nunchuck one way, so it touches my thumb, and the other way, touch my thumb. So it's one, two, one, two. There's no spins or anything yet. I'm just having the nunchuck touch my thumb. And then once you're ready, find out which way you wanna go, this one or this one, and then you open your hand up and then let your nunchuck go, whoa, around your thumb. Does everyone see my hand open up? I went. Whoa, I opened it up there. Okay, whoa, around my thumb. That one's not very easy, all right? So team, the goal of the next combo is to try to do both of those spins. You're trying to go right from a finger spin all the way up, you hug yourself, you go around, and you spin, the, spin around your thumb. Now, last challenge of the day, try to run through all of our stuff. Let's see how many points you can score from the beginning. All right, team, here we go, step back so I can see you. Nunchucks ready to rock. Here we go. Combo one, pop for five points and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Combo two for 10 points. Ready? Go. Low spin, high spin, hug, unhug, back up. For, for uh, 15 points, combo three. Ready? Bring it down, up. Seat belt, down and around town. Very good. And up and down, or excuse me, down and up. Seat belt, down and around town. <clears throat> That's 15 points. Uh oh. 14, I'm sorry, 20 points. Bring your nunchucks up on your shoulder, seat belt and spin. And then finish your move. And then swing. Catch those chucks. High, low, punch, punch. All right, that's 25 points. Who's ready to try to score 26 points? This is a tough one. Ready? Line your nunchucks up and spins. Forward spin one direction. Change directions, reverse spins. Woo. Face the camera again, right towards me. High and low. Best ones you can. One hand at a time, three count. One, two, three, spin, catch, bam. Other hand, one, two, three, spin, catch, pose, and hush. All right, that's 30 points, you get that one down. Next one, for 35 points, we're getting high now. Ready, nunchucks up, nunchucks down. Double gunslinger around your fingers. Back to your shoulders, then hug yourself and spin around your thumbs. Catch them again, hug, spin and catch to the side. Man, this combo is getting harder. All right, team, let's practice one more time from the beginning, but I'm gonna go like fast, I'm not gonna go fast, I'm gonna go smooth. And I'm gonna see if you can stay up with me or go faster than me. This is the last challenge today, guys. This is gonna be the hardest thing. Ready, let's try it out. Ready, get set, and combo one, go. Boom, 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 boom. Five points. 10 points. Ready? Fifteen points. Ready? And boom. Boom. Yeah. Twenty points. Ready? And forward spins. Change direction, reverse spins. I know we're going quick. High and low spins, any high and low you want. One hand, three count drill, catch. Other hand, three count drill, catch. Bam, and us. 30 points. Here we go, next combo, ready? Bring them up, bring them down. Finger spin around your finger, and then bring it up. Ready, and side, down, around your thumbs. If you wanna do a whole bunch in a row, you can. Whoop, around your thumb, whoop. And 35. All right, team. Nunchucks together. Everyone, hands on your back. Click, click. Okay. So, 
Guys, that was a fast paced class, a lot of work there. So let's go back to how we started, okay? There are all the rewards that you get within martial arts class. Um, they all come from having a little courage, giving up some other things and practicing hard. Right now, some of you guys, in your head, you're like, man, this combo is kicking my butt. Combo six is hard, combo seven's hard, whatever. Or if I said to Cam, you get all the secrets of leveling your combos now, and you're gonna teach them. Maybe I'll give Cam extra points because she's on leadership if she knows how to level her combos. Hmm, hmm, that's a good idea. All right, anyway, so I want you guys to know that the reason I'm giving you these big challenges is because that's the only way you're gonna get to the next level. That's it. So if you're a green belt, you wanna be a brown belt, you gotta take on challenges. If you're in class right now, take on the challenge of having a rest position and not wiggling and scratching your nose and moving around and you know burping or whatever you're doing right there. Make sure you are level 10 focused, okay? So I'm already proud of you guys. Let's try to get to the next level because I don't want you to act the same age you are right now, okay? Because Cam, what are you, 15, 16, 13, 25, I don't know. But whatever age you are right now, we're trying to have you guys act at the age above or be more mature with your martial arts. If you stay the same like mature maturity, unfortunately you can't move up in rank. So it's very important you guys act a little bit different and I'm already proud of you guys. So let's finish up with our best class ever. Everyone toes together. Hands, feet together, hands to your side and ah. All right teammates, thank you, great job. Say high five. Wops. All right team, I will see you later.